Welcome to Merely Roleplayers, where theatrical people play role-playing games. I'm Matt, I've been setting the scene this season. It's the final act, where we're going to see if the company can ride the wave of their regionals victory all the way to the big prize at nationals. I actually thought this season was just going to be three acts, one for each round of the competition, but we got up to so much mischief in the first round that I had to split that one in two. I like that that means that the pace has been ramping up as we get closer to the big finale. Next week, we'll unwind some of that tension with a post-show Q&A, then a couple of weeks later we're back with a brand new season. Or, I say we, I'll still be saying hi at the start of each episode, but then I'll be handing over to Strat to set the scene, and Ellie, Nat, Alex and Starkey to bring the drama. Strat's taken this next scene off my hands pretty much entirely, designing and running a game of buccaneering sky pirates called The Cloud Skipper's Captain. So look forward to that in three weeks. First up, we're heading to Nationals, just after this from our friends at Kaiju FM. Hey folks, my name's Rob, and I spent the last 15 years working in the British film industry, making movies of all kinds. And my best friend Sam, and he spent the last 15 years being educated beyond all mortal means. He's got a doctorate, he's got a master's, he's the smartest man I know. And each week, we come together and we talk about movies. We talk about the colours in them, we talk about the characters in them, we talk about the themes and the ideas they present. If you like movies like we like movies, we're here each week in Kaiju FM talking about movies. Find us wherever you get podcasts. The story so far. How can you possibly save the kids' theatre programmes and the Ariadne Theatre? Qualifying's now open for the national televised theatre competition, Upstaged! I've tried to talk Derek at the council out of it, but he, it's almost like it's an emotional issue for him. <laughs> <laughs> Life's a game, the world's a stage, and we're all merely players. It's Nationals! Oh my god! We made it! I can't believe it. (laughs) How do you celebrate getting to this final round? I think we definitely go and play some adventure golf. <laughs> for Mary. Yeah. For Mary. I mean, Brighton must have a lot of crazy golf. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's right, actually. Maybe yeah. before we go back to London. Definitely make the most of it. Can I invite Kathy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, th- I think so. Okay. <laughs> Why did Errol respond to my question? <laughs> <laughs> Is Errol going to no, come with us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Errol, Errol's, Errol's with coming us. with we've us. We've got Mary, we've got Errol, we've got Kathy. Yeah. The dream team. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You have a lovely round of adventure golf, all of you together. Does anything significant happen? We on don't the... cheat. You don't cheat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You teach Mary the error of yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, it's nice. The joy of winning fairly. Yeah. I don't, I'm going to... Mm, am I going to convince? Mm. Going to take Ellen to one side. Yes, Strad. Ellen, I... You know what? I've really... I've really admired how much fun you've been having throughout this this process, right? And I think your joy and your enthusiasm have brought so much and have helped bring us so far. Oh, that's so nice. But. but. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I, I, this is just not not that you've done anything wrong. And I'm gonna, I need, I'm gonna I speak to everyone. Mm-hmm. But I think, I think this is this is it now, right? We've had we've had our fun. We've 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 come together as a group. We've overcome adversity, and and this really, this is all about getting over that, getting over the line, okay. over the, just like doing it for the kids, doing it for us, yeah. for for the the glory. Okay, time to get serious. It, I think so. I think we can still have fun. We'll still have fun. Yeah. But it will be for a very specific purpose that is winning. Okay. I'm not just saying this just because I, I, you know, I, I want to win. You mm. know, that's... Yeah. I've, I've always, I've always wanted to win. But it's, it's not, it's not just like winning is, is everything to me. And it's not just because I like it, but because... I, when I was at school, mm. I was up for a drama award for my house. And it might not seem like much, but that was a very impressionable part of, of kind of my youth. And it was, it was everything. And I, 
I just I just saw it up on the 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 like in the little trophy cabinet at school, and I walked past that trophy cabinet every day, and and every day I looked into it, and I I saw the reflection of myself looking back, and that reflection was of a loser, <laughs> of someone that would that would never get that trophy, that oh. that would never never live up to what that trophy represented. Oh my God, excellence in drama. It said it right there at the bottom, <laughs> and I looked at that trophy every day, and. And the more I looked and the more I saw that loser looking back at me, the, the less confident I got. And uh, to one day, I just, I, I just gave up drama at school. I just, I just gave it up. And for years, I didn't even try. And then um, I, I got my confidence back through Blackshaw and through my friends and through everything I did. And, and I don't want those kids in that theatre to not have the opportunity to find out who they were and to... And to see us and to think we're losers because I'm not a loser. I'm not a no, loser. No, no, you're not. You're not a loser, Strat. You're not a loser. Steep spend, breath. Spend your life lesson and give us a roll. Plus one for the life lesson, plus one for victory. <laughs> so I'm going to fail. I can feel it. <laughs> no. Oh, maybe not. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. ten, eleven. Yeah. Propose a new motivation. Propose. <laughs> victory! <laughs> Helen, you still do not have to accept this. But if you if you change your motivation to victory, um, you gain one life lesson, mm. and you gain plus one on your next the next time you roll anything. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, you're going to go for it. I'm so going for it. All right, your motivation is now victory. Yay! I can still be happy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yay! Now let's win this. We're going to win it. <laughs> We're going to win it for the people. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Where does everybody gather? Where do the uh, the regional winners gather for the kickoff of nationals of upstage? <laughs> the Nash, yeah, seems yeah. appropriate. Does yeah. 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 nationals mm-hmm. at the Nash? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. on the Olivier stage. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yes. yeah. Uh, it's a very glitzy ceremony, and they use the revolve and lots mm-hmm. of lights mm-hmm. and all sorts. Beautiful. So uh, you are there preparing, being made up by producers, being told all sorts of things uh, and other companies are there you've been following the trajectory of all these companies through the rest of the competition you've seen as they've each won their individual regional rounds uh, and you know that there's one to beat mm. <laughs> let's find out who they are yeah. uh, who'd like to roll first I know four you've socialised with this company before okay. what were they like to socialise with to just hang out with not doing theatre things I think they were really cool. Not in like a, we're so cool kind of way, but I think we genuinely like them and they're actually just really nice, which is going to make this even tougher because we know we've got to win. Like, they're, they're kind of like us. They've got a bit of a nerdy vibe going on. How dare you? And they're generally, they're out about integrity. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> uh, who's next? Yep. Six. What's the weak link in their work? Ooh. Or there's something, there's some el- theatrical, some element of theatrical practice that it's kind of known that they're not as good at. Weak narrative. Weak mm. narrative. So they do new writing, but it's not great. Yeah, they do good productions, but mm-hmm. they have rubbish shows. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bad, bad scripts, bad story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or not bad necessarily, but it's definitely the weakest element of what they yeah. do. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a noticeable weakness. Okay. Uh, Ellen and Strat, who's next? Different, different table Four. for you. Okay, you're rolling on the victory table yeah. now. So what do they do in order to try to appeal to the widest possible cross-section of the audience to, to make their work like have really wide appeal? Oh, gosh. Um, okay, I think they have a really wide age range mm-hmm. in their company. Okay. So not only do they have like people our age, but they've got kid performers um, and they've got older people and they also have disabled people that they put front and centre, not just like charitably, but yeah. they really make they're, that they're there. committed to diversity and inclusion. Diversity, community, mm-hmm. and everybody bloody loves them for it. Okay. I feel like we should let them win. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And Strap, finally. Uh, six. Which member is your personal rival? <laughs> and what happened? It is whoever writes 
their scripts. Oh, yeah. And I think what happened was we used to be good friends. And I once left a piece of paper with an idea <gasps> on it. And he picked that up and he stole my idea. Stole Strat's idea. Okay. Who is this person? He is Jonathan. Can just be Jonathan. Michael. <laughs> Jonathan Michael. Mm, bastard. <laughs> Grr. An, an innocuous name hiding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> a terrible nature. Uh, do they? Uh, and what are they called? Maybe they're perchance to dream. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they are. It works well for the mm. kind of inclusive mm. casting. Yeah. I feel like we have to find something about them that isn't absolutely lovable. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have to. We might not win. This means it's a, it's a, no. it's 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 fair. Yeah. They're yeah. good. You're good. Yeah. It's going to be on talent. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, are we happy? <laughs> are we happy with per chance to dream? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Per chance to dream. Uh, do they approach you or do you approach them? I'm staying well away. Maybe it, maybe it's no one's approaching each other. We're kind of in no, the yeah. room. Maybe just and like we just have if we catch any eyes, yeah. we sort of do a friendly nod, but we're okay. not going over a chat. Ooh, okay. yeah. yeah, it's too intense at this level of the competition. None of the companies are socialising. They're all just there on tenterhooks, holding each other's hands, <laughs> occasionally exchanging glances with the other people around the room. Uh, and that is the atmosphere as Jules takes the stage in the spotlight. Uh, the cardigan is spangly mm. and sequined. Mm. And she says, everyone in this room has come so far to make it here to nationals. Congratulations to every single one of you. You're all winners in my eyes. Mm. Oh, thanks, Jill. But now it's that moment you've all been waiting for where we're going to find out the theme for this final round of Upstaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please. Site specific <laughs> and participatory. Oh, no. Yay. Ooh, I feel like we've seen shades of these in some of the performances so far, but we want to see them. We want to see them as a key part of the performance this time. And also, <laughs> this is the final round, so we want to see something big, something mm. ambitious. No black box studios for this one, lads. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Go break a leg. Yeah. 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 How you say it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're back in London. Yeah. We've got to do this at the Ariadne. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had visions of us using the drum revolve, but no, the Ariadne makes more sense. Like, have it yeah. there with all the kids that go there yeah. and yeah. all the yeah. other drama yeah. companies yes. that use it. Yeah. yeah. Have them be part of the thing that we're trying to say. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Get Tess involved. She loves the... Oh, oh, no, maybe, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. No. So should we go there to do our planning? Yeah. 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 Okay, great. We find you all at the Ariadne. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to do to make this production worthy of nationals? I think we want to fill it to the rafters with kids. Mm. Like kids mm -hmm. on stage, kids in the audience, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to bring in the whole community. Yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. that's used it, everybody. Mm hmm like, yeah, just invite everybody in, open house, come and see the show. What if the, the, the general through line of the show, because it's got to be site specific, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is uh, drawing on the fact that the Ariadne used to be haunted. Mm. Yeah. And the reasons it used to be haunted mm. were because the shows were not successes, mm -hmm. right? So we've got, to, we've got to put on a successful show in the Ariadne. Kind of brings it full circle. Uh, so the kids have got to be involved and we're trying to revitalise the theatre with this performance. Uh, so it kind of plays into the history of it, maybe telling some of the story. So it is a, a spooky ghost mm -hmm. story kind of moment. Yeah, they can definitely do a walkthrough and we can recreate some of the tales of how it was haunted. Mm. Yeah, Kid-friendly kid versions, though. Mm -hmm. Or we don't have the kids in the audience, they're just the performers, so they don't have, they don't, they don't have to do the walkthrough and therefore don't get scared. Yeah. yeah. They can be in on the scary. Maybe kids like scaring adults. Mm. Yeah. You maybe have one of them play Vicky, punchy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's just hearsay. I don't know. Okay, that. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can have some really cool special effects because we could uh, demonstrate, reenact how the um, the lack of funding and the haunting has made Ariadne kind of go downhill and downhill, like crumbling bits of scenery, bits of walls. Yeah, we do some projection. Lights, yeah, yeah, lights flickering. Um, Kid playing second wall to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. 
perhaps the the climax of the show is it being better and we get the audience to help us take it from the what it was to something wonderful and special to show them how they can be a part of doing that Mm-hmm. and be part of putting it back together. How would we do that? I don't know. <laughs> we we get the audience to theatrically fix the uh, the stage mm. and, and sweep the, the back room. Ooh, <laughs> maybe when everyone comes in, they get given a piece of wood that's a funny shape. And everyone's mm. like, why have we been given this piece uh, of wood? Yes. And it all culminates with everyone being... Um, standing in front of the stage and where the stage is supposed to be is just a big old hole and it turns out they've each got a piece of the stage that they can put Mm -hmm. into the puzzle and then when the stage is complete the the children flood the stage and do an amazing musical number Uh which is definitely going to be sound structurally sound Mm -hmm. yes yeah Yeah. oh yeah it'll be an illusion the stage will have already always really been there but it'll just look like it's yeah Yeah, they could put the boards on yeah just be like a black Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. paint it using that blackest black paint that Mm -hmm. just looks like a void yes yeah and then yeah the final performance could be like multi-dimensional so we've got like acrobatics and we've got dance and we've got music yeah. like a full on aggressive gymnastics aggressive yeah. gymnastics yes. Yes. maybe yes. the magic no no magic. magic no magic <laughs> the magic like, will be the magic of theatre yeah. yes. yes but demonstrating the vast amount of skills that we could help yes yeah hmm. I feel like uh, the main challenges to me feel like uh, getting like permission for all of the local school children to be involved mm-hmm. in this and uh, sounds like maybe there are like you've got some some ambitious special effects to install in the theatre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else that anybody would like to have as like a, a thing that you have to overcome before getting this performance in place? Tess, <laughs> I feel like she'll just agree to, okay. to save ta- save the area. Of course, cool. yeah. Maybe. Do you think we can try and convince Derek? I was to wondering come? about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm. And maybe we give him an important role in some way. Cha- yeah, maybe, maybe change he, his mind. He has the final piece. Yes, <gasps> he has the final piece the that goes yes. right in the middle. And when, as he puts it in, a spotlight comes on him, and he's the performer. And we have um, all the children from off stage do a massive round of applause. Yes, and we pipe in the sounds of like crowds cheering. And then he gets to do a bow. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, we engineer it so he has... Mm, so he's, he's the star. Yeah. yeah. Mm, and then yeah. maybe the final big musical number and stuff can happen around him and we can kind of involve him with that somehow yeah. as well. And yeah. Yes. And see. What's the first performance prep scene you would like to do? What's the first obstacle you'd like to try and overcome? I guess trying to get the schools to let the kids mm-hmm. get involved mm-hmm. is probably, because without, again, without them yeah. mm-hmm. oh, well, the whole yeah. idea falls mm-hmm. on its face. How, how will you go about that? Do you need to go round every school getting things signed? Nah, there's like someone who's yeah. in charge of all of them. Yep. The yeah. commissioner of the local schools. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, the local schools authority. Uh, or we can do it school by school and try and run a, like a mm-hmm. grassroots campaign mm-hmm. and just rely on the kids getting their parents to sign the forms yeah which way would you like to do it I think maybe the kids signing form maybe a sort of community <laughs> on camera everyone being together oh it make good footage mm-hmm. yeah let's do it let's do that so does this involve all of you you're all uh, going out round schools and we're going, we're going around schools and we're also putting out a social media campaign mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. I feel like maybe we have uh, like a very mini version of the the performance that we would do in the mm. kids' assemblies or mm. something, and then that would encourage them to sign up. Yeah, nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's, if if we're going to schools and maybe like speaking mm. to an mm-hmm. assembly hall full of kids and and parents and uh, teachers, I, it, it, one of them would be in the montage. There's me kind of giving sort of an impassioned speech to to them all, and I end up going. And if we win. You all win as well! <laughs> and uh, a little ball of crumpled up paper bounces off your head, yeah. <laughs> undercutting the moment slightly. <laughs> I, 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 I pretend to ignore it, but I'm seething inside. <laughs> yeah, like, there's a, like an, another moment where we've got like a, a flip chart, and maybe Ellen's kind of demonstrating like some of the props she's going to make, and I'm just kind of there in like under a sheet, like a ghost, and you're like pointing at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think a moment of a little boy coming up to us to sign his sheet going, I didn't know you could do theatre as like a proper job. Oh, yeah. Like, yes, yeah. you can. And then there's just me at the end going, who wants to be on telly? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who would like to roll for the success of this part of the plan? This is community. 
Oh, yeah. that's it then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Roll. Add one for company. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven, eight. Okay. Um, so you you get what you want. Yeah. But uh, I think the, the complication is you've you've attracted the attention of Derek. You're you're just leaving a school and. Derek is standing there uh, at the school gates, leaning on his car, wearing all brown. The car is also brown. He's slightly camouflaged. Oh. <laughs> Has it got wood panelling? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a Morris Minor. Of course oh. it is. Look, all of you, I can see what you're doing. You really should have gone through proper channels for this, you know. You should have gone through the contact of the LSA. Going to the schools themselves individually is very... Very against regulations, you know. What have you got to say for yourselves? We did speak to the uh, the heads of each school before we we didn't just turn up. We we did kind of call in advance and ask if they would be interested. Derek, we actually we had something uh, to give to you actually, uh, and I pull out an envelope with a bit of sparkle. I'm on afraid, it. as a as a as a local government representative, I cannot accept gifts. Oh, it's, There's it's, bribery laws. It's, you know. it's not. It's not a bribe. It's not a bribe. And um, this is going to to all of the kind of the senior officials of our and members of our community, noted members of our community. It's it's just an invitation. It it's not a bribe. He like gingerly with finger and thumb <laughs> takes it, like posts it through the window of his car into the passenger <laughs> Such seat. <a> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I want you all to know that I will be looking very carefully into the legality of what you're doing with all of these schools. There may be safeguarding implications. I will, I've got my eye on all of you. He, he tries to do a like uh, dramatic fling open the door of the car and get in and drive away, but it's too old and rickety. <laughs> and he flings it too far and it snaps a little bit and it's, it's all a bit sad. Oh, boy, <laughs> Derek. And see. How is everyone's DBSs, by the way? <laughs> Uh, what else do you need to get in place before this performance can happen? Tech stuff. Tech stuff. And sorting it, yeah. Okay. okay so what, what sort of tech stuff? What's the, what would sorting it look like? We're going to need projection. Mm-hmm. And then... Like, the big centrepiece of the stage. The big centrepiece of the stage. So we need like a really good carpenter mm-hmm. to make the jigsaw thingy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should get one of those illusion artists to paint the illusion of a big hole <gasps> on the stage. Mm. Do you think maybe we also go back to uh, Albert for some stuff? Because what I'm thinking it might make a really good story for TV yeah. Yeah. if we Local show us going nice. back to all the people that have helped us get to where oh, we are. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I yeah. think that's a good story that the producers will like. It is. Albert's LEDs in the time since uh, the local round has branched out into digital projection. Ooh, so yeah, all your projection needs can be taken care of there. Perfect. Oh, convenient. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe we could get Baroness Winkleby mm. um, involved in, in terms of like whether maybe she's patron of any artists mm-hmm. that would be suitable mm-hmm. for the for the floor painting. Maybe she she knows some like famous people as well, so we can get some big kind of famous faces from the acting world maybe coming and seeing it as well. Again, mm-hmm. like getting a bit of spotlight being in the on audience. Us. Yeah, being in the audience. Mm. Bit of buzz around it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they distract from anything that goes wrong. Yeah. The audience are like, ooh, there's famous. Yeah. Yes. Can I do a bit for a bit for the camera? Well not just for the camera, but mm-hmm. where I get local tradesmen in. Mm-hmm. Like not just theatre based people, but like local carpenters and stuff to come in and help help us build the step the set. <laughs> <laughs> come in and help us build the set. So, like, involving the entire community. Yeah, mm-hmm. lovely. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe the celebs and the PR and everything is all about winning this thing. <laughs> that is definitely, is definitely not about, like, making it a better performance. No. Yeah. So, so I think maybe <laughs> Ellen and I will go for the famous yes. people. Okay. And Nat and I will go and yeah. meet Albert. So once again, <laughs> Albert feel it's actually a little more relaxed on camera this time. He's done it oh, once. Good. Oh, Excellent. Had some media training. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, his his business is diversifying. He's had to mm-hmm. do some uh, CEO vlogs. Right. <laughs> sure. He's more into it now. Great. So he's much more relaxed and he's like, 
So, uh, tell me, uh, what can uh, Albert's LEDs and digital projection do for your performance? <laughs> what can't it do for performance, Albert? <laughs> We're so thrilled that you're you're interested in partnering with us on this because it's so good to have local businesses on board and I've just heard such wonderful things about you from my colleagues. So what we're looking for really is um is a series of of high spec projections that would work in conjunction with our sound to create the illusion of uh, walls crumbling. Yeah. See his eyes light up at the possibilities. Um and uh, and also sort of some Really nice lighting for the finale to showcase the beautiful original features of the of the building itself. Who'd like to roll for it? Uh, it's about artistry, isn't it? Yeah. It's about yeah. making it a better production, yeah. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Ooh, 11. Mm. Yeah. He's very excited and says it sounds like just his kind of thing and what a great way to showcase to the world the expansion of his business. Um, he, he hasn't got over the habit of looking down the barrel of the camera when he talks about his business. <laughs> yeah, carefully showing off the uh, logo on the breast of his t-shirt. And he's uh, really excited about the challenge and wants his design team to work with us to make yeah. it really good. Since last time, we've brought in more people. So even though we're still on a tight timeline and, and this is an ambitious thing that you want, we can handle it. Amazing. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear, Albert. Thank you. I love Albert. And see <laughs> Where do Strat and Ellen meet the Baroness Winkleby? Oh, gosh. I think we need to invite her to London to some mm-hmm. sort of posh, fancy afternoon tea. Yeah, really. the Shard. Yes! The shard. Take yes. her up the Shard! <laughs> <laughs> Willingly. <laughs> so we're okay. yeah, just below Gideon's penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's all coming together. <laughs> do, we, do we know her first name? Uh, we haven't established it you can okay. make it up if you like um, lovely <laughs> Baroness Winkleby it's such a pleasure to, to meet you face to face finally um, I'm Ellen this is Strat hello again oh hello ah you're you're, you're the one who uh, so bravely leapt into the sea from Brighton Pier <laughs> yes <laughs> so bravely <laughs> yes yes to save the production there was a lot of b-roll of that <laughs> <laughs> Is a, you, you've joined a grand tradition. Many people have jumped off that pier. Uh, and it's my <laughs> it's time. It is my honour to be part of such a wonderful Brightonian tradition. <laughs> uh, we just want we want well. First off, we uh, we wanted to thank you so much for helping us out getting that that venue. That was um, amazing, and it's, it's definitely helped us um, get to where we are in the competition. So thank you very much. Uh, the, the the other thing that we we, we want to ask, and um, we keep coming to you for help, but you are just. I mean, you're such a grandee in in kind of in various circles and such a wonderful patron of the arts. That My boy, th- this is how theatre works. People asking their contacts for things. It's simply how it's done. Well, yes, yes, absolutely. And and what we were hoping was that um, that you may be able to uh, rustle up a, a, a kind of a, a bit of the kind of the uh, the theatrical uh, a list to 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 come and uh, be part of of our our spectacle uh, at the end of this this uh, this competition oh, and uh, you need some seat fillers with faces <laughs> we need, yeah i mean we need we, but we, really it's uh, we need we need star power there mm. we want to to really to, to, to bring the community together with with a real tip top kind of level of 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 the art and and show that that you know we're all one big artistic family and uh, and you know <laughs> how these things work uh, the cameras will love them eh oh of course I know I know yes I'll tip her the wink <laughs> the mouth wink <laughs> <laughs> it's a boozy <laughs> yes uh, somebody roll for this okay I'm adding two this time right you are yes one for your motivation and one for the fact that Ellen also shares it <laughs> That's three. Oh, four, five, five. Still a fail. Oh, every time. God. Getting a life lesson. Yeah. Tell me again the the name of the theatre. The Ariadne. Oh. What? Well, you see, it's just all of the 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 big theatrical names that I could uh, that I could rustle up. Mm. It's just that they're being being theatre grandees and everything. they are all terribly superstitious. Mm. Oh. And I'm afraid they they simply won't set foot in the place. I could help you if you changed your venue. We couldn't possibly change our venue. But in which case I'm afraid I simply 
there's simply nothing I can do for you. Well, then, it's a waste of a group on that trip. <laughs> yeah. Can I try and change her mind with a life lesson? You can try and, yeah, get her on side if you want. If you've got a, a, a way of telling her some sort of opening up in some way personally to try and get her on side. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try. Listen, uh, Baroness. Uh, sorry, I don't know your first name. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's so, it's so... Um, you, one gets so used to simply being referred to as Baroness, uh, one forgets to introduce oneself. Uh, Geneva is my Geneva. given name. Geneva. I, um, I completely understand uh, your reservations of um, wanting to ask uh, your connections to visit the Ariadne. Um, it, it does have a reputation. I, I know that. Um, we know that as a company very well. But um, you are such an inspirational person um i have uh, I've followed i followed your your um your career in the arts and and everything that you uh, support and i think that you have such a level of integrity for for the uh companies and the and the performances you support that um if you could really understand what we're trying to save here you'd be able to convince your friends that there's nothing to fear at the Ariadne. It's a, a beautiful theatre that has a lot of potential. So um, I'd like to invite you to to come and see the theatre yourself, come and see what we're trying to do, um, and maybe meet some of the kids and the, and the community that we're trying to support. Spend your life lesson. Roll. Yes. Plus one for the life lesson, plus two for two of you sharing motivation, so plus three overall. Da, da, da. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you get her support okay. so put her in your support section <laughs> there's a there's a catch or a price okay i think she wants some level of creative control oh, and you're okay. gonna have to and you're gonna have to compromise the art okay slightly i'm down with that we need to win yeah we really do like <laughs> yeah, you, sorry, two, <laughs> you two are the most likely to accept like, yeah cool <laughs> fine <laughs> I think I can persuade them, but uh, this is a big ask and I am going to need a level of script approval. I understand that totally. Yep, absolutely. Yep, fine. And see. (laughs) (laughs) It's performance day. And once again, you're gathered on the the Olivier stage for pre-performance interviews. Uh, (laughs) You get uh, the cameras on you. Uh, Jules is there and she says uh, so Blackshaw the audience will remember they uh, they they had a rocky start to the competition but uh, they've been going strong since Brighton they certainly uh, gained the attention of the nation with uh, with their their interesting stunts uh, what can the audience expect from you tonight well we've stuck to the brief and there will be audience participation but not quite uh, in the same way that we had in Brighton <laughs> Um, we're very excited to really showcase the Ariadne Theatre, which of course is, is what we're what we're doing this for. Um, is for saving that theatre for the use of the local community. So you can expect for that to be our focus today. I think Jules, today is really about showing people that theatre isn't just something that happens at you or to you. It's something that you are part of. Sorry, what's that? That's my wanker alarm going on. <laughs> per chance to dream are there if there is oh, anything no. that you want to... Uh, nods of respect. Yeah, yeah just, just yeah. nods. Yeah. Friendly just nods again. Looking forward to the mm. script, Jonathan. Oh. Oh, away. <laughs> Jonathan looks bewildered. He doesn't realise he's betrayed you. He doesn't think he did anything wrong. <laughs> Fuck you, Jonathan. You know what you did. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, audience arrives at the Ariadne. You see various uh, very nervous-looking theatre grandees <laughs> <laughs> who are all like... It's almost like you can hear them not saying Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> Angels and Ministers of Grace Defenders. Thank you. So I think I've been uh, coordinating with the parents and the chaperones to kind of structure the kids' journey through the performance, like where they're going, what they're doing. So I think I've kind of, I've got like a team of uh, of maybe like eight eight to ten kind of ten-year-olds with me. And I'm like, yeah, come on guys, we got this, we got this, yeah. They're all in their kind of adorable little costumes and they're, they're going to be ghosts. Um, <laughs> going to go on and do a bit of like dance for carb, ghost dance nice. to start 
the lights are going to go down and then obviously silence and then they're going to come up again and through the audience kind of a la the start of the lion king we're going to have the kids kind of coming through making shapes being all wafty and there's some lovely accompanying projection okay give us a roll oh no that is a seven including a company (laughs) yeah yeah i'll give you that because you're chaperoning the children pick one either uh you can give plus one to rolls for the rest of the performance or you impress a judge i'm gonna plus one to the rolls um and there's some sort of complication so it's the the children in their ghost costumes are starting to appear like and and move through the audience (laughs) there are a couple of gasps uh, and an area of the audience like uh, pulls back uh, to give space as it becomes clear that Benedict Cumberbatch has fainted. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Who would you like to nominate for next? Who's going to be best to deal with, with this? <laughs> Ellen's like, looking away from me like, no. No. <laughs> Go on, strap. Oh, okay. Fix it. Fix uh, right, okay. Um, rewind. <laughs> Before the show has got away, I think um, we've been organising like a big kind of red carpet event out front, right, to bring everybody in. The the you know, all of the best of everybody is there, and what I've been doing is just like arranging to make sure people are thinking the best of us. So. As, like, the judges are coming in, I'm going to have set up so I'm, like, stood chatting to the Baroness and her best friend, Benedict Cumberbatch, um, <laughs> as uh, as uh, Fabian walks past. So I just like, oh, Fabian, I'll catch you later. Just, just talking to uh, to Benny here. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you in there, see you in there. And then Derek, is Derek coming? Yes. Mm-hmm. So Derek, I think, is then also walking down. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, sort of, like, catch his eye and go, oh, Derek, have you have you met Benedict Cumberbatch? I've been talking to him, and um, he said he'd you know love to know about local government. And, <laughs> uh, he's Famously. going, <laughs> and um, yeah, you should you should guess him. I mean, we're about to start, so maybe you wander around uh, with him and the uh, and the Baroness. You know, get to know them, enjoy yourself, have a have a wonderful evening. Uh, so that when Benedict faints. Derek is there to sort of like, oh, I can help out a celebrity. You hear the sound of Benedict Cumberbatch hitting the floor. Yeah. The sound everyone recognises yeah. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's distinctive. It's happened again. <laughs> and a second later, you hear uh, all the sort of the people in that general area of the audience hear a voice that says, Don't worry. I've done a council first aid course. <laughs> Give us a roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, plus one for victory. And plus another one, because Ellen is also... I'm there. Yeah. Nine. Doesn't Nine. really do anything better, but it still feels good. <laughs> yeah, did you do the plus one for that Nat gave you? No, ten! Yes. No. Ooh, <laughs> that makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. Plus one to future roles in this performance, and which judge would you like to impress? Oh my God. Uh, I guess it makes sense that I've impressed Fabian yeah. since I've, apparently, I, you know, I know people. I mean, I'm sure he already knew Ben, but... Yeah, but he's like, <laughs> oh, no, you know him, you know, yeah. maybe we're the same level after yeah, all, yeah. you and I. Yeah. Um, this plays out in favour that some of the audience are starting to think, maybe this was... Maybe this was part of it. Maybe Bandit was meant to. Maybe is this guy Derek? Is this guy in it? Is he an actor as well? So there's already some sort of like people are like, oh yeah, looking at him favorably, and 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 Bendict obviously is incredibly grateful, and he calls over his uh, friend Dame Judy Dench, and uh, they're both like really ha- like I've told you Derek, and they're now best friends as well. <laughs> Amazing! Like I really want to be friends with these people. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Ellie. Okay. Uh, so I am kind of just like coordinating everything. So I'm on cans and I'm sort of everywhere at once. So yeah, I'm in this kind of overseer capacity. I've got cans so I can communicate with my colleagues. Obviously I can see that the Benedict situation is being taken care of. So we're going to carry like the show continues. Um, so we've had the beautiful ghost uh, weave through audience <laughs> dance thing yep. happen Lovely. Yeah. Um, and now we move into the, the kind of crescendo to crumbling walls section mm. so the and there's a voiceover uh, our good friend Christopher Starkey has um, pitched in on which is this big booming voice saying imagine if there were no arts funding <laughs> 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 what would happen to these wonderful structures? These <laughs> in a world. <laughs> 
all cultural landmarks would be destroyed. <laughs> destroyed, <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> and there's like, like we've got so many subs in that the whole building does shake. <laughs> Is Brian Blessed in the audience going, I didn't do this, did I? <laughs> I don't remember doing this. Uh, and the projections come in and it does look like really convincing. But the audience are not scared. Well, they let's find out. Let's have a roll. Going, Ooh. <laughs> they instantly jump out of all windows. <laughs> Let's have a roll. Uh, you have plus two from how well it's been going already. Yeah. Uh, I think that you're in control of the artistry here. Uh, yeah. So plus one for that. So plus three overall. Six, nine. Yes. Nine total. Okay. okay. Do you want to give Ellen plus one for her final roll or do you want to impress a judge? I'm going to put another plus one on it. Yep. Cool. Put, put a donk on it. Thank nice. You. Okay. And there is a complication. As you're advancing the the chases of all of the projection, you see out of the corner of your eye, Errol no. rummaging through his bag in what seems like a panic. He pulls out a CD, which is like the final CD of programming for the projections, which needed to be loaded in previously. Oh my god, he's so useless. Yeah. And he just he holds it up and looks at you with this forlorn expression and just mouths Oops. God damn it, Errol. Errol. This is like a task that had to be delegated to him a mm-hmm. little while ago. He's been carrying this around and... It's <gasps> delegated to yeah. Errol. Yeah. One job. And why are we relying on CDs? <laughs> <laughs> so which... Or a USB. Or which yeah. bit does it mean that it hasn't... What bit's not I happening think then? maybe it's the key kind of illusion of the stage coming together. Oh, oh. So like... As you said, all of the everything falling apart has worked yeah. perfectly. But what about for the performance to work, it all has to come back together again. And that's the bit that isn't loaded in currently. But not the... Sorry, I'm confused. Yeah. Is it the yeah. the walls coming back together again yeah. that's not programmed in? Yes. Or the stage flooring? It's the walls coming back up, okay. I think. Right. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the situation as we move to Ellen right. okay. what are you going to do um, right so when this revelation happens I, I see the look mm-hmm. that Errol gives Ellie yeah you're um, right I have, in the box as well yeah mm. um, and okay so I'm going to exchange it with Ellie um, realise the situation we're in and I think I am going to get out onto the grid and I'm going to try and get Errol to throw the CD to me Ooh. <laughs> Rather than try and like go through the maze of corridors that's full of audience and children, I just want to get it up and get it straight into the CD player yeah. in the box. He doesn't um, need to throw it to you. He can just give it to you right now and you can crawl out onto the grid with it, trying to get it to, right. the, to the projector. Right, okay, okay, it's that way around. Okay, yeah. yes, that's what <laughs> I'm going to try and do. <laughs> okay. Unseen by the audience below yeah. Ninja Styley. Ooh, some real threat. Yeah. Okay. You're going to intensify wafting to try and cover <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> they definitely won't be able to hear you over the booming yeah. Brian Blessed. <laughs> so. yeah. uh, and what's, what's happening with the, the audience while this is happening? Are they getting to the point where they're having to reassemble the stage out of their all, all their little pieces? I should think so. I think that's yeah. about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, so you can see them all starting to uh, slot their pieces in as you mm-hmm. inch out along the grid. Uh, give us a roll. Mm-hmm. You get plus three from how well it's been going so far. Okay. Um, am I plus one for victory? Uh, oh. Is this you doing anything you can to win? Yeah. 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 yeah, so you get plus one for that, which means you also get plus one for strat. So plus five oh, overall. Come on. Didn't need it. That, oh. That's an 11 right there. So that's 16. <laughs> I think that's the highest roll we've ever had. Uh, so first things first which judge is impressed can I have all of them for that (laughs) still only one Um, I think that Suze Suze is impressed yeah I think because it's so real alright and tell us how you heroically pull this off (laughs) okay Um, so I've got the CD between my teeth not scratching it (laughs) carefully between my lips (laughs) Um, and I'm that ninja style over the I'm going to say it's a sprung grid because why not 
and I'm avoiding the lights because there's like moving moving spotlights going to different parts of the theater as they pretend to crumble. Um, I'm like dodging and weaving and I've, re I've reached the projector and um, just as it about to turn over the, the previous CD projection, because <laughs> that's how that works. Um, that's clicks. how we do it at Albert's projection. <laughs> <laughs> clicks to end and there is a moment where everything goes black mm. and I just managed to get the CD there in time and press play. <laughs> Um, and, it, and it kind of works like it feels like the, the blackness was meant mm. and then the CD was into action <laughs> trying to make a CD playing <laughs> dramatic it goes <laughs> and the next bit begins and everything's fine and I sweatily shimmy back over the sprung grid to the box <laughs> and in that moment of blackness the final piece was slotted in yeah. and oh, so there's yeah. a moment of blackness and when things come back the stage is complete and the projections show the theatre being rebuilt. Mm -hmm. uh, and Spotlight on Derek. Yeah, spotlight on Derek as he like uh, shakes his hands in mm -hmm. victory like some like a Formula One driver. <laughs> <laughs> as everybody adores him for putting the last piece in. Mm -hmm. Cue the big grand musical number. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Children, in the kennel, children. pat him on the back. <laughs> <laughs> children swarm the stage. Yeah. Aggressive the <laughs> Confetti drop. Yeah. If we say it's Brechtian, do you think we'll get away with how unsubtle it is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Everyone holding yeah. signs saying, give us more money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the finale. Yeah. So, it seems to have gone well. <sighs> but weirdly, it might not have gone. <laughs> it's time for the judging. The ju the final judgeoning. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd like to roll for the final judgeoning? Not strap. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> Who hasn't rolled for a judgeoning yet? Fine. I don't know. Well, I've rolled. I think both. I think Ellen and Strap. Yeah, we, yeah. So it's either Ellie or Nat. Nat's going to. Yeah. <laughs> Fabian and Suze are impressed. Okay. So you have plus two to this roll. Okay. Do I get in a plus for company? Because everyone is on stage. I'm afraid not. Oh okay. This one's just impressed judges. Oh, oh, my Lord. Lord. Oh, no! no! What was it? <laughs> Plus how many? Plus two. Oh, five. five again. I think it's a tower, you know. I think if I'd have rolled that in my hands. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> So you don't you don't do well in this round for some reason. This round, but there's more. That's the final map. I know in the final. So let's hear from the judges. Oh, oh sorry. God. Let's hear from the judges. I, I mean, I I thought it was going to be rather good at first. I mean, uh, bumped into a few old chums on the red carpet, and um, you know, any 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 show that's that's going to have that kind of pulling power for the stars, who thinks okay, but then. That strange chap wearing all brown got up at the end, and to be fair, that's when I got off the train. <laughs> yes, I, I really enjoyed the start. There was a lot of wafting. I really enjoyed the kids' moments. And and then this this gentleman, there was no waft to him at all. Well, frankly, that ending felt far too much like an illusion for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really liked it. It takes a lot of boxes for me. The camaraderie was pretty intense. It was really up there, like when all the children on the end like were at the stage and that. And we like made a jigsaw puzzle stage all together. But at the same time, just like the other judges didn't really like it. And I like to follow trends and it feels like this one is not hashtag trending. <laughs> Is there a way that any of you would like to use the support that you've built up to turn this into a... Uh, I mean, you're, you don't win the competition, mm -hmm. but in these sorts of stories, is it ever really about winning the final round? Well, I mean, Strat would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... I've got a life lesson yes. left mm -hmm. that I've not used. Mm -hmm. Can I use it to have a conversation with Derek to yeah. try and get him as a supporter? Sure. When do you where where are you when you approach Derek? I think straight after the show, like he's riding the high. The judges' comments have not come in yet. <laughs> Derek, hi. I just um, wanted to introduce myself. I'm Ellie. I'm the director of the show, and I just wanted to thank you for your fantastic participation. You were the absolute star. Oh well, thank you for 
involving me i know i know i haven't been particularly friendly towards your company so i do appreciate you giving me a a moment in the spotlight regardless oh that's all right derek we understand how it is your job is incredibly difficult you have so many things that you have to support and um dividing up the very limited funding that the council has must be very very tricky and i just hope this evening has has shown you um what great work we've been able to do up until now with with the support of the council so thank you for that if you're spending a life lesson you're going to have to open up to him in some way yeah. to tell him why he should help you okay i mean for me having having the funding come through for the schools up until now has been so important because we've seen so many cases of of kids who are really withdrawn and 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 very very kind of reserved really come to life doing workshops here and, and going on to performing productions and little jimmy in particular <laughs> had real trouble at school he had very little social skills um and and so we did a bit of one-on-one workshopping with him and 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 really worked on it and and jimmy was actually one of the 10 10 year olds that we had performing the show tonight and um i know he'd be really keen to meet you in a bit it's just such a shame that there won't be any funding for him to carry on his his training give us a roll spend that life lesson add one for it okay 10 yes yes yeah. You get him on side, no questions asked. Amazing. Hallelujah. I think at your story, a tear comes to Derek's eye. <laughs> I've, I've never told anybody this, but um, there's... I identify a lot with that story about little Jimmy because in my childhood, I was very much like him. I never got picked for drama things. I never got to be a star. And you've given that to me tonight, Ellie. Oh, Derek. Oh, Derek. <laughs> I'm so pleased we could <laughs> give you that gift. <laughs> I really feel like you fixed my personality issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like years of misery have been wiped away in this one night. <laughs> You've not won the competition, but you've built up a lot. Like you've made a lot of friends along the way, and you've mm-hmm. built up a lot of support, mm-hmm. including Derek. You can put him on your yep. seat now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, how do all of those things come together to mean that even though you don't win upstage, <laughs> you still succeed? Well, I'd have thought Derek might be more inclined mm-hmm. to put the funding back in place, and I think we've got a bunch of people, well, we've got some people who might that, consider yeah. being patrons. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've yeah. certainly had this, maybe we have shown all of these big names that, uh, that the, the, the theatre isn't something to be scared of, and that is going to emanate out through <laughs> the kind of the wider <laughs> London yeah. theatre, so yeah. suddenly they're getting more bookings so that they maybe have more money Other coming income. in through that. Mm-hmm. I think that the public as a whole, they love an underdog story anyway, and the fact that we did so well with the performance but didn't win I think will resonate with a lot of people yeah. and they're like oh they're, they're them they deserve better mm-hmm. like hashtag yeah, right. justice for Blackshaw <laughs> no. um, and I think yeah general public as well not just rich and fancy people mm-hmm. know of us at least yeah. more and are more likely to come to the Ariadne Will Young <laughs> rather than Gareth Gates yeah. <laughs> So uh, at the the award ceremony at the end, uh, you all uh, stand back uh, uh, in the audience and sort of politely applaud uh, in as directed by the producers, uh, as per chance to dream, take the trophy mm-hmm. uh, and talk on the stage about what they're going to, all the good work that they're going to do with the prize money and the tour that they're going to take around the country and how it's going to change <coughs> lives and how it really means a lot to them to win. Uh, and then you get uh, a little exit interview as well. And Jules says, uh, so Blackshaw, so it wasn't to be the big prize, but, uh, Tell us, uh, what, what are you going to do from now on? How, how has this experience changed things for you? Well, I think, I think we'll be back next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm just... Uh, I'm kidding. I, I think we've, we've all learned a lot. We've come a long way. And um, though we may not have taken the trophy... It's okay. So it is. It is okay. We've, we've come away with, a, with a, a, a different kind of win. We're winners... In a, in a different way. It, it's really built our community in a way that we never could have expected or hoped for. It's, uh, yeah, we might not have the tour, but we, we've we won the grand prize, really. Oh, friendship. Yeah, <laughs> love. Saving the children. 
and uh, Kathy is in the audience oh, no. uh, applauding all of you and uh, and uh, I think I after the, <laughs> after the uh, after the the ceremony uh, Jules uh, approaches you all and says that she would love to be a patron of whatever Yay. it is that you're oh, trying to do uh, who else did you have as support? Derek obviously is going to Derek, rein- yes. Derek's reinstating the arts yeah. funding. Yay, Derek! Um, <laughs> yes, Baroness Winkleby yeah. and Mary. Yeah, and Mary, they're helping us too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Mary just joins your company, I yeah. think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, totally. I, I, I'd like to find Jonathan <laughs> and approach him and go, uh, just walk up to him and sort of like put my hand on one of his shoulders and look him dead in the eye and go, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> For what? I, I forgive you. <laughs> I don't know. Walk away, leaving him confused. All right. <laughs> and unless anyone has anything else, nope. That's curtain. Hooray! <laughs> Listening to merely role players with Ellie, Nat, Ellen, and Strat as themselves, sort of, playing a game designed and run by Matt using the Powered by the Apocalypse engine. If you enjoy the program, let us know with a review or rating on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, Listen Notes, or wherever you do your listening. You can also find us on Twitter at Merely Roleplay and at facebook.com slash merely roleplayers. Merely Role Players is an independent production in association with Blackshaw Theatre Company. Join us for more drama next episode. I thought you were going to say you learn from Baroness Winkleby how to punch a seagull <laughs> and then you go up to Jonathan. <laughs> I was thinking about that about five minutes ago that I would end by punching someone, but I didn't think that was a. Pro- I didn't want that to be that's, my final thing. That's a Vicky Weston move. I, yeah. I, I was going to say, like, in the post credits, that like, you get some credits and then you just get a flash sequence of the Baroness teacher <laughs> teaching all of it. Yes. 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 And then it goes back to the credits. Yeah, I think that would be a good post credit sequence. Totally. Yeah. All those little epilogue cards. Natalie did learn how to punch a seagull. <laughs> yeah.